Shadow, mysterious character who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. The Shadow uses his hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so that they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the unseen voice of the Shadow belongs. Today's story, House of Fun. <laughs> Just told me you wanted to see me, Mr. Van. Shut up. You know better than to mention my name around here. Oh, I'm sorry, boss. Something special you wanted? Yes, Lupton. I came here to the carnival to find out why all the delay. Well, cheap, You boss. had your orders three weeks ago. I sent you a complete description of the man I wanted you to kidnap. But there ain't been no one like him who come out here to the house of Never fun. mind the alibis. Now I want that man, and I want him tonight. Yes, boss. It's worth a million dollars to me, Lupton. Huh. A million dollars. A million bucks? Hey, how do you figure that? Never mind. Just do as you're told. When my plans are completed, Lupton, I'll rule the world. I'll rule the world. Now, get me that man. Tonight. Hey, you are. Hey, you are. Step right up and try your luck, folks. Only a dime, ten cents, a tenth part of a dollar. All you do is hit the funny man and knock his head off. Just move in a little closer. That's right, that's right. There before you stand Sylvia, the lovely little lady from the mystic land of India. And she dances, folks. She dances. Hurry, 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 hurry. You're just in time for the Wonder Show, the greatest attraction on the midway. It's no oh, way Lamont, to I'm having a wonderful time. It is fun, isn't it, Margo? Oh, I haven't been to a country carnival since I was ten years old. Say, look. There's a hot dog stand that we missed. You want one? Oh, I haven't finished this ice cream and root beer yet. Oh, a sissy, eh? I should say not. Get me two hot dogs. Okay. Will you hold these two blankets and this bridge lamp? Yes, yeah, sure. You better take these dolls and candy boxes, too. What about the set of dishes? I'm trading those in for the hot dogs. <laughs> Lamont, you're a regular Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley was a woman. Then you're a brother. Can I try it? Well, sure. Let's have another gun, will you? Here you are, sir. Two bits worth. How do you hold this thing? Hey, <laughs> not under your chin. Your shoulder. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's it. Now, fire away. Here goes. <laughs> Say, I knocked the hat off that dummy. Uh, don't look now, darling, but that's the proprietor. Getting tired, Margo? Tired? I'm just starting. Hey, how about trying this place? Oh, lad. All right. It's thrilling, it's chilling, and a laugh from beginning to end. So step right up, folks. It's the hilarious house of fun. Two, please. Yes, sir. The gentleman gets two tickets, and here's your change. Uh, thank you. Come one, come all to the hilarious house of fun. We go in this way, It'll Margo. Your Lamont, what happens in these places? <laughs> Anything. So be prepared for... Oh, look, Margo. Isn't that James Tennyson just ahead of us? Tennyson? Yes, you know, president of Tuttle Steel. Oh. Why, of course it is. Come on, I want to. Ha- I want to say hello to him. All right. Hello, Mister Tennyson. Hey. Well, don't you remember me, uh, Lamont Cranston? I'm sorry, Mister. I don't oh, I. I do beg your pardon. You. You look just like an acquaintance of mine, James uh, Tennyson. Oh, that's a big business fellow, ain't it? Yes. Well, I don't blame you. Lots of folks is always mistaking me for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my wife says she wishes it was him. For the money part, she means. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do apologize, anyway. Yeah, think nothing of it. Good day. Good day. <laughs> that uh, always makes you feel a little <laughs> foolish. <doesn't> yes. <laughs> well, come on. Let's face the spooks, huh? 
Oh, stay close to me, Lamont. It's so dark in here. Mm, we'll just follow our friend. We'll let his light suit be our guide. Lamont, what's that? Uh, just a skeleton. Ignore him, ignore him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you hear what I hear? Oh, Margo, just, uh, just relax. Oh, yes. Sure. What's that awful thing in front of us? Where? Right there, look. That great big head with tiny arms and legs. Oh, if I tell you, will you promise not to be upset? Yes. That's you. Me? <laughs> yes. You're looking into one of those distorting mirrors. <laughs> oh, oh, go ahead and laugh. You don't look so pretty in it yourself. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Down this passage, wait <laughs> Gosh, it's dark. Why do they call these places fun houses? Because it's so much fun when you get out of them. Here! Here! Let go of me! What's that? <laughs> Our friend up ahead must be getting a scare. My throat! My throat! You're choking me! Margo! Come on. What is it? I don't know, but it doesn't sound right. Something's happening to that man. Look ahead, Lamont. He's being pulled through a door in the wall. Stop. Stop, I say. He's... He's gone. Are you sure you saw him disappear through this wall? Well, yes, of course. But there's no door here. Must be a sliding panel. Open up. Open up in there. Here, here. What's going on? A man just disappeared through a panel in this wall. <laughs> Well, what's the matter with you, brother? Has this place gotten you? Well, who are you? Well, I'm the manager here. And you can take my word that there ain't no secret panel. Well, we saw him disappear. Oh, yeah. What'd he look like? Middle-aged man wearing a light gray suit. <laughs> Why, that fella just left the place. I passed him on the way in here. Are you sure? Of course I am. Well, that's funny. Well, why shouldn't it be funny, brother? This is the house of fun. <laughs> You're not eating anything. No, I won't for another week. Why not? Have you forgotten our little orgy at the carnival the other night? Twelve hot dogs, six frozen custards, four bags of peanuts, and an apple on a stick. Lamont, you're slipping. Yes, I guess so. And the way the stock market has behaved this week hasn't helped my appetite either. I thought the market was going up. It is. But there are a few companies that are solvent, successful enterprises... Yet their stocks have done a complete nove dive these past few weeks. Oh, why? I don't know. There's a rumor that it's the result of bad business deals by the presidents of these companies. Bad business deals? Yes. Think of what's happening to the poor man who's holding those stocks. The butcher and the baker. And even the employees of the companies. What are these companies? Well, the latest stock to tumble is Tuttle Steel. Oh, well, isn't the president of Tuttle Steel a chap we, you thought we saw at the carnival? Yes, James Tennyson. I still think I saw that man who looked like him disappear through that panel. And I still believe you. But we couldn't do anything about it. Lamont. Mm-hmm. Speak of the devil. What do you mean? Look, those two men getting up from that table. Isn't one of them our missing man from the carnival? Why, so it is. Oh, <laughs> what a coincidence. Then we were wrong about him. <laughs> it looks that way. Oh, look, they're coming toward us. Shall we tell him about the scare he gave us? Sure, why not? Hello there. Hey. You remember me, don't you? We saw you the other night at the carnival. Um, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. Come on, Mr. Tennyson. I have got to catch that train. Uh, yes, yes. Excuse me, won't you? Oh, yes. For certain. Well, what was all that about? I don't know. That other man called him Mr. Tennyson. Well, you've mixed them up again. No, I haven't. That wasn't James Tennyson. That's the man we saw at the carnival. Then why did he call him by name? Because he wanted me to think he was Tennyson. He didn't know that Tennyson knows me. Well, this is like coming in in the middle of a moving picture. I don't get it. I don't either, Margo, but I'm going to. I'm positive that man was the chap we saw at the carnival. Well, then why should he say he wasn't? That's something for the shadow to learn. By paying a visit to the carnival again. Tonight. <laughs> I'd like to know what you're going after, Lamont. Well, Margo, it, it's weird and fantastic, but I have the feeling that this house of fun that we're heading for is somehow mixed up in the stocks falling off in the companies I was telling you about. How? Well, this is pure supposition, mind you, but wouldn't it be possible that someone, someone who was interested in having those stocks decline, could dispose of the real presidents of the companies 
and substitute a person who looked and acted like him? Oh, Lamont, that, that's unbelievable. That remains to be seen. Well, here we are. You'd better wait in the car, Margo. What are you going to do? The shadow has some serious business in the house of fun. Yeah, boss. What's that? A girl. Well, what must she look like? Dark, medium height, slender. Okay. I'll be on the lookout. Just send me a picture of her and I'll do the rest. Sure. Goodbye. <sighs> <laughs> Is it a tiresome business, Mr. Lufton? Huh? Who said that? I did, Mr. Lufton. Well, where? Where are you? I'm standing right beside you. Beside me? But I don't see anyone. That's because I've clouded your mind. You can't see me. Who are you? I am known as the Shadow. The Shadow? I, I've heard of you. You can't be seen. I was listening to your conversation on the telephone, Lupton. Well? Kidnapping is a rather serious offense these days. Kidnapping? Yes. That is your work, isn't it? No, no. You're lying. Hey, what are you trying to do to me? I ain't crooked, see? I'm running a legitimate business. It's a house of fun where people come and enjoy themselves. Where people come to be kidnapped, you mean? You, you don't know what you're talking about. I know that some people have come into this place and never were seen again. Now, no, you're all wrong. I can prove what I'm saying, Lupton. To the police. The police? Yes. You can save your protest for them. Now, wait, wait. Don't turn me in. I'm honest, I tell you. I don't know what happened to those people who disappeared. Then you do admit they disappeared. Yeah, yeah. I just did obey, obey my orders. What are your orders? Well, they, they give me a description of a guy, see? Then I keep a watch for someone who looks like him. Sometimes that takes weeks. Then when I see one, I give the tip off and they snatch him as he goes through the house of fun. Who are they? They, the men I'm working for. They own the show. And these doubles that you're watching for, are they the doubles of any specific people? Well, usually a big businessman or something. Why do they want these doubles? I don't know. I just told you everything. Not everything, Lupton. Who's behind all this? No, no. No, I can't tell you Who that. is the man that you just spoke to on the phone? The man you call boss. Please, please, I can't. Then you'll tell the police in the morning. I already have your confession as a kidnapper, Mr. Lupton. I'll tell. I'll tell you. But you've got to protect me. Who's behind this? My, my boss is Mr. Oh, oh. You will never know, Shadow. You will never know. paper, Margo? Not a word. Lamont, are you sure Lupton was murdered? Of course. I saw him die. That was three days ago. And not a line in any newspaper about his death. I did learn one thing today, though. What's that? The late Mr. Lupton's house of fun has left the carnival. Where'd it go? I don't know. Well, do you suppose they've just gone out of business? No, I don't think so. That place has been too good a foil for the activities of the heads of this mob, whatever they may be. Well, then what do you think? They've undoubtedly moved to another city. We'll just have to find out where. That should be a nice job. How many cities are there in this country? Oh, it won't be that involved. There are agents, you know, who book all these carnivals. Well, what makes you think that these agents would give you the information? Well, if we were to go to their office looking for work... You mean as performers? Exactly. The Flying Cranston. Margot, that's a wonderful title. Come on, get your hat. Okay, partner. The Flying Cranstons are seeking their first engagement. Alley, up. Up. Nope, nope, Charlie, nothing today. Well, how about me, Max? Uh, Charlie, you keep in touch with the office. I think we can get you 20 weeks at Bourne's Wonder Show. Oh, swell. Uh, who did you want to see? Well, we uh, don't know exactly. Uh, what was it about? Well, work, of course. What do you do? We're an aerial novelty act. The Flying Cranstons. Flying Cranstons? Never heard of you. Well, the idea. Never heard of us, huh? Never heard of the Flying Cranstons, the King and Queen of the High Wire, the Fires of Gravity, Daredevil Supreme. Margo, Margo. Daredevil Supreme. Yeah, I still never heard of you. Well... Mr. Lovton told us to see you. Lovton? Well, yes, the proprietor of the House of Fun. Oh, Johnny Lovton. Yes, that's right. Good old Johnny Lovton. Well, I'll have to see the act before I could book, book you any place. Well, I realize that. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, where is John these days? I ain't seen him in months, but his show is up at the Winkler County Fair. Winkler County Fair? 
Thanks. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I just remembered we left the trapeze home all alone. And you know how trapezes are. You can't leave them for a minute. Certainly not. Wow. Uh, we'll be in to see you again. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Here, wise guys. <laughs> Well, Lamont, who are we supposed to be this time? What do you mean? Well, are we the Flying Cransons or... No. The Flying Cransons are back in the trunk. And what does that sign say? County Fair just ahead. Good. But I have another impersonation for you, Margot. What's that? When I saw Lufton the other night, he received a phone call from the head of the mob. Yes. And I gathered that he was told to look for another victim. I see. This victim was to be a girl. Dark, medium height, and slender. Well, that could be anyone. Could be me. Exactly. Oh, now I get it. You want me to... Only if you want to, Margot. It's liable to be a very dangerous task. Well, you know me, queen of the high wire, daredevil supreme. Now, this is no joking matter, Margot. These men are killers. Why do you suppose they want a girl this time? Well, if my theory is correct, that they're kidnapping their victims and palming them off as the big business tycoons that they resemble... Then the next company to receive their attention is the Amalgamated Perfumes. Well, that's a shot in the dark, isn't it? Not as wild as it sounds. The only big businesswoman who answers to your description is Dorothy Andrews, the young socialite who runs the company. I see, and you want me to visit the House of Fun? Yes, and I want them to think you're alone. I'll follow behind you as the shadow. If they attempt to kidnap you, I can step in and get the evidence I need on the entire gang. Will you do it? Will I? I'm practically being yanked through that sliding panel right now. There's something doing every minute in the hilarious house of fun. It's thrilling, it's chilling, and it's a laugh from beginning to end. Go ahead, Margo. One, please. The little lady what? You all alone, miss? Yes, isn't that allowed? Oh, sure. Sure, here's your ticket. Go right in. Go right in. Thank you. Hey, Pop. Uh, yeah? Tell that dame she's just what the big guy ordered. Sure, sure. Hurry, hurry, hurry. This is the house of fun. It's thrilling and it tickles y'all. It's a bit of... Uh, pardon me, miss. Yes? Is this here a very scary place we're going into? <laughs> well, that depends on what scares you. Well, I thought it was a real honest-to-goodness fun house. I don't like the look of all them bony things. Too spooky. Well, old man, you just stick close to me. I won't let them bite you. Thanks. Thanks. It's dark, isn't it? Yes. Great day, what's that? I don't know, but I don't like it either. Uh, here, now, don't, don't go too fast. You'll be leaving me behind. Oh, sorry. Look over there. What? Uh, oh, let go of me. All right, Julie, now keep quiet. Let go of me, I say. Now we'll just open this panel. Where are you taking... No yelling, see? Lamont! Lamont! Shut up, you. Come on. Margo! 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 Open that panel. Open that panel. Margo! Now you listen to me. You are supposed to be James Tennyson. Do you hear? You are supposed to be James Tennyson. I am supposed to be James Tennyson. You are going to his office tomorrow and sell his South American property. Huh? I'm what? You are going to sell the South American properties. I am going to sell the South American properties. You will obey my instructions. I will... I will... No. No. No, I, I'm not Tennyson. Quiet. I'm not Tennyson. I can't do this. Quiet. 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 Listen, you fools. If you are trying to pitch your will against mine to regain your freedom, you had better forget it. If you don't, when you have completed your job for me, I shall dispose of you as I have the other. Now, obey me. Concentrate on what I say. Look at me. Look into my eyes. Now, repeat after me. I am James Tennyson. I am James Tennyson. I will obey my instructions. I will obey my instructions. That is better. You may go now. Yes. Yes. I am 
James Tennyson. I am James Tennyson. Yeah? Hopper's out here. He's got that dame from the carnival with him. Send him in. Come in. Hello, boss. Well, here she is. Good work. Bring her over here. Come on, you. All right. On tie her. Uh, yeah, yeah, now. Stand still while I loosen these ropes, will you? Uh, well, uh, I must compliment you, Pop, on your selection. She is practically a double for the Andrew scale. Ah, uh, there she is. What? What's the meaning of now, this? Now, just take it easy, young lady. Nobody is going to harm you if you do as you're told. What do you mean? You will see. Okay, Pop. You wait outside. Yes, sir. Take a seat, Miss, uh, Miss... Lane. Uh, but I want to I'll help... do the talking for a while, Miss Lane. Miss Lane. Hmm, that's not a very good name for you. I think you'll have to change that. Change my name? Yes. From now on, you'll be known as Dorothy Andrews. Please, please, tell me why you brought me here. Look at this photograph. Why? Look at it, I say. Do you notice anything unusual about it? Why? Well, well, it looks like me. Exactly. That's a photograph of Miss Dorothy Andrews, the young society girl who is the president of a very, very, very large perfume company. Well? Well, as I told you from now on, you are Dorothy Hunt. You can't keep me here. Oh, but I can. These walls are soundproof. And as for help reaching you, well, just look out of that window. Oh. Thirty stories above the street is a long climb. Now, will you listen to me? No. I'll get help some way. You can't do this. We will dispose of the real Miss Andrews tonight. Tomorrow you will go to her office and take a plea. But how do you expect me to fool... That's my job. You will obey my orders. I have a complete file here of all her daily habits, her acquaintances, her business deals. But how could I learn them in so short a time? I will teach you, and our lesson can begin right now. Look at me, young lady. No. Look at me, I Look into my eyes. No. No, I won't do it. You will. That's it. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at him, Margot. What is that? The shadow? The shadow? Yes, Van Buren. You remember me, I see. Remember you? Yes, from the night that you killed John Lufton. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been listening to your conversation with the young lady, Van Buren. Well? Quite a racket you're running. What do you mean? Substituting your own people at the heads of big corporations. Hypnotizing them into ruining these corporations for your personal you're gain. You're crazy. Oh, no. You are the one whose sanity should be questioned, Mr. Van Buren. What do you want with me, Shadow? First, I want you to release that girl. Then I shall turn you over to the police. Oh, not a chance. Do you think that I am going to be frightened by you? A Shadow that doesn't even dare show himself to me. We shall see. I know your power, Shadow. The power of hypnosis. But mine is as strong as yours. I shall force you to become visible. <laughs> You're a fool, Van Buren. And I'll prove it to you. I'm standing right in front of this desk. Huh? Here. I'll pick up this pen to prove it. You see? My eyes are on a level with yours. Now. Make me become visible. Make me. I will. I will. You shall become visible, Shadow. You shall. <laughs> your ego is greater than your talent, Van Buren. You can't do this to me. Look out, he has a gun. How did you like that shadow? Shadow. <laughs> he does not answer. He does not answer. I've killed him. No. No. You didn't even hit me. Try again, uh, Van Buren. I'm over here by the window now. <laughs> You're a poor shot, Van Buren. Uh, no more bullets. I'll get you. I will get you anyway. Get away from that window. He's coming after you. Look out, Van Buren. That window is open. Van Buren. Uh, oh. He's fallen to the street. Oh. Come on, Margo. I'm taking you home. What did Commissioner Weston have to say, Lamont? Well, they found the real Mr. Tennyson and several other victims all alive in one of Van Buren's hideouts. The only murder committed was the one at the House of Fun. The case is officially closed. Oh, good. Well, how about a little relaxation, Margo? Something to take our minds off the events of the past few days, huh? I love it. Any special place you'd like to go? Yes. Where? A country carnival. Today's program is based on a story copyrighted by The Shadow Magazine. All the characters and all the places named are fictitious. 
Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. The Shadow Magazine is on sale at your local newsstand. The weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The Shadow knows. (laughs) 